All right, I got something to say here. You know, there are all these dudes, these alpha males online explaining how to be the best alpha male and how to climb up the dominance hierarchy and attain greater social status. And, you know, they tell you how to, how to stand like a champion and talk like you know what you're talking about and, and how to look like a leader. And something always rubs me wrong about this. I just, it, it always irritates the crap out of me. And I thought about it for like 30 seconds, and I think I know why. So all the, all the stuff they're telling you to do is just superficial stuff. Like, specifically designed just to get you higher status in this thing. And I don't think that a person should get more status because they're trying to get more status. But that's what we've got today. We've got, the, we've got this, this social hierarchy that relies on people fighting for the higher status positions, pushing each other down and climbing on top of each other and crapping on the people below them while they, they, they claw at the ankles of the people above. And it's not based on anyone's competence, usually. It's just, it's just based on <sighs> looking, like, looking like they should be there and sounding like they should be there and pushing their way in and, and all this stuff. And generally, if I say anything about this, the response is, well, you don't like it because you're, you're at the bottom. Nobody likes being at the bottom. Except I'm not at the bottom. I've been at the bottom before. Grade 7 and 8. I was, I was bottom of the food chain. You know, we just moved and it was a new school and home life sucks. So I didn't even want to talk to anyone. I was kind of antisocial. I was, I was bottom, bottom. And uh, then in high school, I was still, you know, the weird loser, whatever. And then one day I won this award. It was Athlete of the Year. And the next day, the cool girls came up to, and talked to me. This cool girl, cool girl comes up, you know, cool girl. And she says, hi, and starts, starts this conversation with me. And I say to her, why are you talking to me? You wouldn't have said one word to me yesterday. And she said, well, that was before you won this award. Now that you've won this award, everything's going to change for you. And I remember saying that. Everything's going to change for you now that, you've, now that you've got this piece of recognition. Now, you, now that you've got this little title beside your name that says Jamie Mansell, not just normal Jamie, Jamie Mansell, Athlete of the Year. Now everyone's going to treat you different. And I told her that was stupid and I walked away. Uh, but it didn't even matter that I was, I was not nice to the cool kids. I was, I was cool because I, I had that title and that was it. And for the next 10 years, I was, I was like top of the food chain socially. And uh, that annoyed me too. And what really annoyed me about it was why I'd moved up in this, on, in this social standing. Hold on, I got to kill a bug. Give me a second. So what really annoyed me about moving up in the social standings so much, so suddenly overnight, was why. And it wasn't because I had, it wasn't, it wasn't because of who I was or anything I'd accomplished or improved about myself. It was just this award. And you might say that, no, you know, you, you moved up because you had attained, attained all this athletic excellence and people were recognizing it. Except that entire year, people had heard my name over the announcements. Every week, Jamie Mansell won this race. Jamie Mansell scored this many goals. Jamie Mansell was on the winning team for this, this, this. So everyone already knew about that, all that stuff. But I was still like a weird, nerd, uncool guy until I got the right award. And I could put the, you know, it gave me the, the title. And you know, I had to have some sort of authority stating that I was cool. And then I was cool. And this, this kind of brings about two different types of hierarchies. So you've got the, you got the hierarchy that these, these alpha males are always talking about, where you gotta you know, claw your way up in status, where you, where you jump in there and you fight your way into higher status. Like you, you try to get higher status. And it's all based on superficial nonsense. You don't actually have to be good at anything. In fact, if you're good at something, it's, it's kind of a detriment often because when you're good at something, you have to spend time doing that thing. So the people who get highest up on this, this dominance social hierarchy we have today are the people who, who really have nothing going on on the inside. They're just like, I know, how to, I know how to play the game. I know how to work the thing. And then there's this other hierarchy. I mean, there's, a, there's an infinite number of hierarchies, but another one I'm going to talk about right now, which is a competence hierarchy. Now, in the competence hierarchy, you don't, you don't increase in value in the competence hierarchy by trying to increase in value. 
if you try to push someone else down, you kind of go down with them because you're wasting your time on, 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 on not valuable activities. The way you increase your value in a competence hierarchy is you actually become more competent. You look in yourself and say, what can I improve? What can I do? You gain some skills, you gain some knowledge, you, you gain understanding. Somehow you improve yourself and the world around you, you actually, you actually increase intrinsic value and, and increase your, your ability to, to give value to the world. And in this hierarchy, since people aren't dependent on the people above and below them for their position, you could have 10 people in the same position. They could all move up at the same time. You could have a bunch of people move down at the same time. Their position is not dependent on the other positions, on the other people's positions. Whereas, you know, the dominance hierarchy of the, the superficial one that I think is nonsense, you know, you basically line everyone up and everyone's position is dependent on everyone below them and above them. It has nothing to do with their ability to actually accomplish anything. And, okay, Jamie, so what? <laughs> What's the problem? Well, the problem is that people in this superficial hierarchy are trying to climb their way up to the higher positions to get stuff. Now, there, there are two, two, two ways you can look at a leadership role. You can look at a leadership role as someone who has responsibility and has to take care of things and do a good job, or you can look at a leadership role as, as power, where you get to take stuff. And these people in this superficial hierarchy, they're climbing their, they're clawing their way up in the hierarchy to get stuff. Because the higher up they are in that, in that, on that ladder, the more stuff they get to take, the more people they get to control, the more, the more for them. Whereas competent people, the higher up they get in that hierarchy, the more they can give, the more they can do for the world. Now, when you when you don't have enough people who are being competent, and you have too many people doing this superficial nonsense, there are too many people taking and not enough people doing. And there's so much pressure in our society today to get on this, this dominance hierarchy of the superficial, where you're supposed to claw your way up and, and take as much as you can. And this is, it's just, it's dragging down our entire society. There are not enough. There are not enough competent people working hard to support all the all the mooches and the pieces of crap who are just like sitting around like kings trying to take, with you know special financial deals or doing tricky little things or you know I had a good investment or whatever. And another huge problem with this is that we've you know our society is so focused on this superficial hierarchy that women are interested in the guys who are who are highest up on this superficial hierarchy. The most useless people who just want to fight their way to the top, make, make terrible husbands, make terrible fathers, and they're raising horrible kids. And because so many women are interested in this, all the competent people are like, well, what's the point of even doing all this hard work and trying to be competent when I, I'm not going to be able to have a family because no women are interested in me because I'm looked down upon as, as the nerd or the working class, all, all because I'm actually adding value to the world. So you get more and more people sliding over and just getting into this stupid hierarchy of the superficial. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gotten to a point now where our society is just, is just nosediving. We're going downhill pretty quick. And this is why cost of living is going up because there's, there's less stuff, fewer people are making the stuff and you know, quality of life is going down. It's just, there, are, there aren't enough people keeping everything going. And now this kind of goes in cycles through history. To create a civilization, everyone looks to the competent people and the competent people become the important ones. They become the leaders because if people are like, we really need more food, we don't have enough food. We don't care about any of this, this bull crap or posturing. We need someone who can actually figure out how to do more food and you get the competent people taking the leader, leadership positions and becoming you know, the big status people in society. But when they do such a good job that there's just surplus everything, they're not needed as much anymore. And so then you start getting people coming out and saying, hey, well, I want the position that guy has. Look, he doesn't even do anything. And it's because that guy is not doing anything because he's already done it. And now he's just kind of, kind of got to maintain it. And it's, it's a lot easier to maintain something than it is to build it. So then you get these guys coming in like, they're barely doing anything. I can take that position because I can get in there and I can get all the perks they, they're getting. And it becomes, the, the more abundance there is, the easier it is for those crappy people to slide into those positions of power. And once that starts happening, 
you know, they start changing the narrative of everything. They start looking down on the people who, who, who created the society. You know, the, the nerds and the working class. Well, if those, because, because when you're faking it, the scariest person to a faker is the person who can do it for real. So they look down on them and say, bah, I'm a better leader than them because they're, and they just start making up all kinds of, they're, they're not even cool. They don't have a, a deep enough voice or they don't stand properly or, or strut around with the right suit or whatever and do everything they can to diminish the people who are actually useful. And that's, you know, that's where we've been for a while and that's why our society is just going downhill. And at some point, you know, it's, it's going to get bad enough that people are going to start looking to the competent people again. Which is kind of starting already, because, you know, well, I don't need to get into it, but it's, it's kind of starting now. But things are still going to go downhill for a long time before the competent people can, can rebuild, you know, start rebuilding things. Because it takes a lot more effort to build things than it does to tear them down. And we've got so much, we have so much momentum tearing our, our infrastructure apart right now. All right, so I, I don't want to just leave things like that. So let me give a couple, a couple ways to, that, a, that a civilization can avoid this kind of downfall. One, you keep women interested in competent people. Because, then the comp, because that's a huge incentive. You know, this may sound sexist and whatever, but women being interested in men who are competent changes everything. Because right now, most women are interested in just the superficial thing and all the competent guys are like, eh, what's the point? Keep, keep women particularly interested in competent guys. And people in general, men too. But, you know, the men kind of like, I mean, I don't want to say it because it sounds kind of like wimpy, but we want to impress women. Like, it's kind of built into our DNA. Now, another thing is to keep a civilization going, you have to keep striving for something. So you have to keep some kind of some kind of impossible goals, otherwise the competent people become obsolete. And once the once the competent competent people are obsolete, you don't need them anymore. They kind of diminish. They kind of disappear. Then then everything falls apart. But if you keep some kinds of goals that that where you need competent people, you, you'll 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 keep you'll keep the competent people around because they'll be interested. They'll be valued. They'll be doing stuff. And that whole, that whole hierarchy of competence will be encouraged. And, you know, you could look back in, in the United States in the 60s when they said, well, when the president said, all right, we're going to the moon. And everyone was like, what? That's impossible. We can't do that. Except if we get a whole bunch of competent people and we start thinking about doing instead of just taking. And that probably extended the life of our civilization to a significant degree. Of course, you know, once the once people, once humans got to the moon, it quickly diminished after that, and you know, everything's kind of been downhill from there. And you know, the the the, the crappier people have been taking over more and more, and doing worse stuff, and taking more and more, and just not 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 maintaining our civilization, not creating everything. You know, the roads are getting crappy. You got financial systems falling apart. You got inflation, and all the, all this stuff is the is the the results of this of of people in this superficial hierarchy so you know as it kind of goes up and down it's almost like pistons of an engine like you get the competent people coming to dominance to to create a civilization and once the civilization gets good they're not needed so much and then the the, the, the superficial little little takers they come in so that's that's why i really don't like all these videos about these these alpha males coming in and talking about how to how to climb your way up this dominance hierarchy so you can take more for yourself and, and get all the chicks and take all the stuff and just live off the hard work of other people who are diminishing and yes i actually kind of consider those people to be like if i had to say who was the the alpha males and the beta males it's the alpha males are the are the competent people the beta males are the ones who are climbing all e over all each other and crapping in each other's face trying to climb up to this top of this stupid food chain okay i gotta go do some, some real stuff increase my competence and excellence in the world okay